folks and welcome to the next episode of Technicational. Now today we're going to look at the Huawei Y360. Yes, this is pronounced Huawei. Yeah, now this is a phone that is on special by Lime. I think it's going for something like $6,900 or roughly $7,000. Now today we're going to find out if this phone actually worked your time and money because the sale is about to finish about uh, July the end of July so we're going to find out if you should go out and get one of these if it's worth the seven thousand dollars so let's get right to it because we're not planning to make a long video today so let's start so first thing first what do you get in the box well you get the adapter to charge the phone with you get a USB cable that you can use to transfer files to the phone back and forth and you also need to put it in the adapter to charge the phone you get an earpiece and a booklet also you get the phone and the battery now one thing you will not get which is a little bit disappointing is you won't get a memory card yes and we're going to get into that a little more later on so you don't get a memory card you just get the phone and these stuff over here okay so let's find out a little bit more about the Y360. Now this phone comes with a flash, a dual LED flash and it has a 5 megapixel camera at the back. Now at the front you have a 2 megapixel camera and it supports SD cards. Let me open this up so you can see the SD card I guess. So let's see what's going on in here. So that's the back cover, plastic as usual, this is the battery, you put your SIM card up here, it's not a nano SIM, it's not a micro SIM, it's the normal huge SIM cards that most people have, which is a relief. I am so upset that I have to be cut cutting my SIM card so much. Anyway, and your micro SD card is right here. And let's open up the battery there you are let's look at the top part so your USB let me focus on this to charge a phone the USB is on the top of the device with your headphone jack at the top as well you don't have anything at the bottom of the phone on the left side you have nothing as as usual and on the right side you have the power button volume up and down so your left side is barren down here not used except for the mic and at the top you have the USB and the headphone jack pretty simple and straightforward so they say all Android phones are the same now this phone is running KitKat that's Android 4.4 and I have to say the interface is somewhat refreshing because it's not the normal KitKat you will see on most phones everything that you need on the phone is there so the one thing I really like about the Y360 is that every little thing that you usually download when you buy a smartphone is already installed on this Y360 meaning the first thing I do is download Clean Master for better RAM management but you get a RAM management tool built in on the Y360 just simply one tap and it clears memory pretty simple the next thing I love is that it comes with a file explorer as well. The file explorer is pretty simple to use. It breaks up everything into categories so you can look for your audio or your images quite simply instead of going through a long list to identify what is music, what is pictures, and what are files. Everything is categorized for simplicity in the file explorer. It's pretty decent. I kind of like it this way. The next thing I want to say is the phone comes with themes. Now it only has three themes built in which is much better than some phones that don't have the option to put themes at all and you can mix and match the themes to your liking. It is 
not as expansive as some phones but it's better than nothing i have to say this is really good and you can mix and match the icons or the wallpaper to suit your need this is this is nice now one other thing that i really love about the phone is that these things don't come on high-end phones uh, and i really really hate this because high-end phones need to have everything but anyway this phone has fm radio and I, I have to say people i listen radio i don't care what nobody said so the fm radio actually works quite good Just to, yes, okay please commissioner i think i need to know what is zip but anyway the FM radio is really a good function, especially if you're in Jamaica, you need to know the news and you need to listen your daily zip or fire! The phone already comes with Facebook, Twitter and WhatsApp installed, so you don't need to waste your time downloading it. Maybe it needs to update when you get it, but it's already installed and there to work, so you don't have to worry what you're going to do if you get the phone and don't have any data well enough megabytes to download the apps so to speak the next thing i need to show you is the notification menu which is quite unique now you have two words up here notification and buttons and if you go on buttons you see these buttons here or you can go into settings directly but if you go into notification you notice there's a timeline with dates and time for every notification that you get and you can delete them by just clicking the delete button right there so let's talk about camera now the camera on the phone as i said before the front camera is 2 megapixel and the back camera is 5 megapixel now i'm going to show you soon the picture quality that this phone actually took but I have to say one other thing so this phone has a very unique camera feature that I haven't seen on most Android devices now most phones at the lock screen right here has have, have a icon right around this right here that you can swipe up and access the camera but this phone access it a little bit differently what you do is double press the volume down button and it will bring up the camera and take a quick shot let me show you there you go and it also notes how long it took to take the picture on average i'm getting 1.8 to two seconds but that's pretty fast it's not a high-end phone and you're getting a quick snapshot within two seconds pretty cool especially if you need to find or take a picture of something happening really quick like two girls fighting can't fight so while we're on the topic of camera let's just go to some pictures that this phone actually took in the night in the day and with the front camera and i'll drop in two videos as well because it says it can video record in 720p we're going to look at the quality of that as well so let's go So here we are digging a little bit deeper into the specs of the Y360. Now the brand as you can see is Huawei and you see the version is Huawei Y360 U23. It's running Android 4.4.2, that's KitKat and it's 32 bit. The CPU is, I think that is, let me see, that's a MediaTek CPU, yes. 
So it's a MediaTek CPU running a Mali 400 MP GPU and the resolution of the screen is 480 by 800. The rear camera is 4.9 which is rounded off to 5 megapixel and that's the IME, we're not going to look at the IME. And the total memory, which I haven't mentioned, the total memory for the Y360 is 459. It's roughly 512 because memory is rounded off that way. So it's 512 of memory and you have an internal storage of 1.96 gig. So you can't really install a lot of stuff unless you actually get a memory card so you can take your pictures and store on the memory card and then you can use this internal storage for your apps alone now the cpu is a 32-bit quad core cpu and it runs at 1.3 megahertz and the gpu as i said before is a mali 400 mp now the front facing camera is 1.9 megapixel which is roughly 2 megapixel overall and that's really what you need to know about the specs of this phone. So you know that it no matter what I say about the phone you need to know the specs of the device and we always run a benchmark to satisfy all the people out there who are really tech savvy. Now there's something strange about this phone. And the strange thing is, no matter how much I run this benchmark, I cannot get a result. It just comes back blank and says, test. I don't know why. So because I can't use our famous benchmark, I had to draw for one named Quadrant. It's, it's kind of the second most used benchmark on the market. It's pretty simple to use. So we're going to use Quadrant to benchmark the y, Y360 because the, 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 the next one is just not working. So let's see how it does in Quadrant standard. So we're going to run this. So the results of the benchmark show as follows. So the Y360 is scoring pretty high compared to the HTC One X, the Asus Transformer Prime, the Motorola Atrix 4G. Now these are devices that are pretty old but still for a $7,000 device outdoing high-end spec devices from back in the days you're supposed to know that this phone is a pretty good device for the price so the score is actually 5421 above everything else that you see here and the lowest scoring thing on this is the samsung nexus x which is the first nexus yeah so the phone is really good the spec is really good for the price and we're going to go into our final thoughts if it's really worth the money so let's get to that so although we used a different benchmark application we got our scores and we compared it to other devices but we need to know if it can apply itself in the real world so we're going to play a game on the device and the game we're going to play today is Hungry Shark, which is a pretty good, good, fun game. Very fun game. Let's go. <laughs> I'm starving. Get him, get him, get him! Get the little idiot! <laughs> so it actually works perfectly, no itches. The GPU in this seems to be very good. So gaming on this device is perfect, okay. I haven't seen any problem. And I'm guessing 
for all those FIFA fans, yeah, it will work. So don't worry about that. So what are my final thoughts on the Y360? Well folks, I'll just say this. If you can find $7,000, I would strongly advise you to buy this phone for a price that's below $10,000. It's a really good phone. It's even better than the 750 and the DL800 that you will find on the Digicel network. The only thing is, you would have to give up the TV function, which a lot of people still love. But, spec wise, this is much better. You're getting a quad core processor, you're getting 512 of RAM, flash, 5 megapixel camera, and front camera, 2 megapixel, and a very up to date operating Android system. 4.42 KitKat. So, if you can afford it, I would definitely recommend you to get this phone. It's a good, cheap device. Okay, folks, so thanks for watching. And please remember, if you like, subscribe, and continue to view my channel. Peace.